So the good news is that ChatGPT is about to make your life a lot easier. And I'm gonna go through seven different ways in which you can use ChatGPT to actually write better ads. How can you get ChatGPT to write your ads for you? I run a social media and digital agency and we write a lot of ads for a lot of different clients across many different audience targets. And if you're like me, you know how hard it is to write really good ads. You need to have you know, four different groups of talent. You start with your data scientists that do the analysis on the industry and then pass that information along to the creative strategists that, who create the ideal customer avatars and the storylines. They pass it to the content creators who do the shoots for the photography and videography. And lastly, the copywriters will come in and work their magic to tap the algorithm and then connect with the audience. So the reason why this is such an intensive process if you're running advertising in digital and social media is the average person actually scrolls the length of the Statue of Liberty during a given day within their newsfeed, uh, which is 300 feet. So why should they tap on your ads and let alone purchase a, a product or service or anybody's for that matter? Uh, so the good news is that ChatGPT is about to make your life a lot easier. And I'm gonna go through seven different ways in which you can use ChatGPT to actually write better ads. So let's go directly to the platform. This is what it looks like. Uh, and if you haven't already gone here, I highly suggest you do. You can go to openai.com, sign up. It only takes two minutes, it's free. And then you can get going. It's like Google on steroids. So I think uh, ChatGPT is the first sign that we've seen of artificial intelligence at scale. So many people can experience it. And I think this is groundbreaking for the advertising industry, but also for most industries. So let's start out in terms of picking a particular brand that we want to work with. I'm going to choose our good friends at Zico Coconut Water, which is a great company. Uh, they've also just started a new product called Zico Hydrate, which is amazing sports strength. It's a better for you brand, has amazing electrolytes uh, and a number of different reasons to buy. But I'm interested in what ChatGPT thinks about in terms of positioning it uh, from an advertising perspective. So we're going to ask ChatGPT a bunch of questions to see if we can write great ads for Zico Hydrate. So if you were to launch a new sports drink in today's market, what are some of the key differentiators that you would use in its positioning? So what I like about this answer, and this is, is slightly sp sped up, uh, is it gives me a number of bullet points that I can work off of uh, and endorses a number of things that, that we already knew. Uh, but you can continue asking it broad questions along this line in terms of positioning and you usually come up with a lot of new insight as well. So it's one, confirming what you may already know, which is good, pats you on the back. Secondly, uh, gives you a lot more information. So let's ask another question. Who would be your ideal customer avatar? So we're getting into the creative strategist role uh, with asking about customer avatars. And now what I like about this particular product and one of the reasons I chose it is there are a lot of different angles that you can choose uh, because there are a lot of different types of customers. There are women, there are men, there are young athletes, older athletes, there are kids. Uh, but let's just see what it has to say about this particular customer avatar. It says, um, regularly engages in sports or exercise, a product that is free from artificial ingredients, low in calories. So it's giving us the wink and the nod to really double down on the health aspects of, of the product because that's an issue. It also gives us some more information that I actually didn't even think of. It says target your frequent traveler who gets dehydrated. So that would be a whole new angle I didn't even think of. Okay, next question. Using this new customer avatar, write an ad for your new sports drink. Okay, so it starts to write an ad. Uh, I like how it starts. It starts out with the problem. Are you tired of sports drinks filled with artificial ingredients and high-end sugar? So we all know that as copywriters and advertising executives, if we can communicate the problem that customers are having, and they're like, yeah, I am having that problem, they're more likely to listen to the solution. Because if you start, it doesn't always work this way, but, but the problem agitate solution is always a great way to go in. Sometimes just talking about the benefits right off the bat is, is also really good. Okay, let's take the next step here. Um, assume that your sports drink uh, is eco hydrate and rewrite the ad. Okay, so now we're starting to narrow down a little bit. Okay, so it right, starts to write an ad for eco hydrate, starting to use some of the specific benefits of, of, of the product. One of the things about 
ChatGPT, it, it tends to be a little bit salesy. I'm not quite sure why, it just does. So why don't we say be less salesy? Boom. Okay, so we have a less salesy copy there, which is nice. And this, this is one of the things that I love, love to do because it's a huge time saver and you can take many different angles. If you have a number of different books or famous articles that have been written or methodologies about uh, copywriting in this case, you can ask it to write using those techniques. So write and add using the techniques used in Breakthrough Advertising, which is a book that many of us in the, this space know and love. It talks about writing copy that goes problem, agitate, solution. So it starts to do that. And so let's continue though. And one of the things that I love in terms of this narrowing process to get to actual the ads that you really want to use is again, you start broad and then you start to go down different tentacles of, of personalities and different ideal customer avatars. So let's go with a customer avatar about hockey moms in Boston. Because as I mentioned, as we all know, parents love to buy the sports drinks for the kids. The problem is, is that those sports drinks oftentimes aren't that healthy for the kids. They may hydrate them, but there's a lot of sugar, there's artificial flavors, there's color dyes, zecohydrate does not have the artificial flavors and color dyes and it's lower in sugar. So uh, hockey moms in Boston could be a good target, but we need to connect with those hockey moms. So we need to be specific, we need to be relevant. So let's see if we can do that using ChatGPT all within, I say seconds to find the answers, but you know, it's, it's literally minutes if you, if you have the right prompt. So see what they had to say about uh, What's the uh, ad for Hockey Moms in Boston? Attention Hockey Moms in Boston. Are you tired of watching your kids struggle with dehydration during their games? Introduce them to Zico Hydrate, the sports drink that will change the way they hydrate. Uh, pretty good, right? Right off the bat. But here, let's go a little bit further. You, let's use hockey puns. I actually play hockey, used to play hockey, stopped maybe a couple of years ago. But my kids, my kids play hockey. And uh, so I'm pretty familiar with the space and uh, I can tell whether this is on what it's like on the cheese factor here. And I got to tell you, this is pretty good. Skate past the competition. Zico Hydro will give your kids the power play they need to perform at their best. A proprietary blend of electrolytes and vitamins will help them face off against dehydration during the toughest games. Will make your kids the top draft pick among your teammates. Really, really pretty amazing within seconds. Now you don't want, you necessarily want to use all of these, but the key again is to connect with those audiences in a very niche way so that you're not just throwing ads out there you're actually speaking their language uh, and this starts to speak the language and i'm usually an advocate if it's long if it's on brand use it you know because uh, we aren't let the customer decides what they're going to dwell on what they're going to watch what they're going to click what it's going to what's going to get buys what you're going to generate buys from rather than trying to think that you're that you know it all because you don't the customer is going to tell you so let's be even more specific mix in three boston suburbs with solid hockey programs all right so this is great in seconds it comes up with stay hydrated and energized during the games and practices in boston suburbs such as wellesley needham natick and arlington all solid hockey programs right but this is the thing about chat gdt it went even further whether they're playing in Wellesley, state-of-the-art hockey rink, Needham's high-performance youth programs, Natick's strong high school teams, or Arlington's dedicated youth hockey clubs. Now, I didn't even know any of that, to be honest with you, and I, I've spent a fair amount of time in hockey rinks in Boston, uh, and, uh, and that's amazing. You might want to fact-check those things a bit uh, before you go ahead and throw it out there for sure, but what we found is that ChatGPT is, is usually spot on. So the last thing is you can just shorten your ads if you like to, you can lengthen them, you can shorten them. So I'm gonna say shorten to 500 characters. So that's it, I hope that was helpful for you. I'll just do a little review. Uh, so in review, I use seven prompts to help you write uh, better ads using ChatGPT. This is just the tip of the iceberg. You can use uh, many, many more prompts. So the ones that I use are start with differentiators to see what how ChatGPT might differentiate your product uh, versus the competition. Uh, create an ideal customer avatar or avatars. I uh, use proven copywriting techniques from books, one I love. Customize to specific personalities, avatar types, and geographic locations. Ask for a more informal or formal tone. Ask it to be less salesy. And finally, you can choose the character length. In this case, I asked it to write 
uh, a shorter character length. So if you like what you heard today, uh, click on subscribe. Uh, and we have a lot of great information on digital uh, marketing and social media. And I hope you enjoyed your time. Thank you so much.